Hi, I'm Danielle Stylin and I'm the PA at Caring Medical and I just wanted to take some time to talk to you about arthritis in the ankle and how it develops and why it's better to get it treated sooner rather than later. So most of us have all sprained our ankle doing some kind of athletic event or running or whatnot. And what happens when we sprain an ankle is we actually stretch out or injure the ligaments that help hold our ankle together. So ligament tissue is thick, dense tissue that holds all our bones together. So when we sprain an ankle or kind of roll our ankle in, those ligaments get stretched out and then they can't really hold the bones well like, as, like they should. Now, typically people you know, will take anti-inflammatories or they'll rest their ankle, um, maybe put ice on it you know, to help alleviate the pain. Yes, it might help to alleviate the pain, but it does nothing to actually help heal that ligament tissue. So eventually, you know, they might be left with pain that lasts months or years. If they go to the doctor, they might be given a cortisone shot to help mask the pain. And yes, it does a great job in masking the pain, but then, you know, you still have that unstable joint. That ligament is still not able to hold those bones together like it should. So now, after taking anti-inflammatories, getting cortisone, putting ice on it, you don't have pain, but you're out doing all the same activities, if not more, than you were doing before on that unstable joint. You might not be able to feel it, but you actually are still causing more damage. So just to kind of explain a little bit, when the ligament is lax or loose or injured, it's going to allow those bones to shift more than they should. So if I'm just using my hands as bones. When that happens, you're going to cause a lot of wear and tear on the cartilage that lines the end of all our bones. So even if you mask the pain somehow and you're out running, jumping, playing basketball, and those bones are shifting more and more, your body is going to respond to that. So your body is actually going to swell the area. It realizes it's unstable, so it's going to swell it as a way of holding everything together. You might turn off that swelling with anti-inflammatories and cortisone, but that's your body's own natural way of trying to keep everything together. If you, again, keep taking anti-inflammatories, you know, getting shots, keep working out on it, your body is forced to come up with another way to kind of compensate for this unstable joint. As the bones are kind of moving around, shifting, wearing down that cartilage, your, act, your body is actually going to deposit extra bone along the ends of those bones. That's called sclerosis, and it even shows up on an x-ray. So now you have this extra dense bone beating against other extra dense bones, wearing down that cartilage more, and it, it's not good. Eventually, it does cause a lot of pain um, and long-term damage. Long-term sequelae of that use, you actually might start to even develop bone spurs, which are extra projections of bone that are going to develop off that regular bone. If that pinches on a tendon or a ligament or any of the other surrounding tissue around the joint, it's going to be very, very painful. Um, if someone has you know, long-term instability that's kind of developed into arthritis, they might be recommended for you know an ankle replacement or fusion of the bones. Um, I've heard a lot of patients tell me that their other doctor has said wait till it gets bad enough and then you can just have surgery. These are all things that we hear in the office. In the meantime, you know we can treat that with prolotherapy. So prolotherapy, for those of you unfamiliar, is an injection technique that's used to stimulate the repair of injured tissue. So we really get at the root cause of the problem, that initial ligament injury. So ligaments, you know, by their nature, they're pretty white tissue. They don't have a great blood supply, so they don't really heal well on their own, which is why long-term instability to arthritis and so forth can develop. So we actually treat those ligaments right where they attach to the bone to help strengthen them, get blood flow back to that area to help heal that injury, all the while, you know, getting stability back in the joint, getting those bones to be held back together the way they should so they're not pounding on each other, you know, creating extra bone growth, wearing down the cartilage, and so forth. In pretty severe cases, you know, if people have been said, hey, I have no cartilage left, I was told my ankle is bone on bone, you know, depending on the case, we can actually even treat that as well so they don't have to get ankle replacements, fusions, and so forth. You know, we might have to use cellular prolotherapy where we actually take cells from your blood or your bone marrow or even your fat and inject it back in the joint to help stimulate repair but we have great success with it and most of the time you know patients do really well